行くぞフォルクス俺はいいや俺たちを誰よりも早くダンを登りきらねばだこのギリシャの地で人間に劣るなどありえるものか兄様お待ちをゆっくり皆さんでお話をああアーシュバッターマンさんも落ち着いてくださいなんだなんだ異国の神と脚力勝負ってか面白いじゃねえかちっとばかり戦いには向いてない小賊だがしょうがねえこの学校でもぶっちぎってやるぜはいはい若い衆は元気ですかとえ皆さん神様マジでそいつは驚きにしてもこんな景色が見えるって人間長生きはするもんだいや長生きってかサーバントだけどハロー everyone welcome back for some more fate grand order you know what I love You know what I love about this new title screen? It, it goes over. There's a glitch where whenever there's an update, like I update the game and then I start it up for the first time, and the, there's just a, this big, scary red screen. It doesn't happen on this one. You see it for a second and then it goes away. It is so nice. You know what else is nice? Valentine's Day. Especially because they're doing it hella early. It is. Uh, February 1st, and I am going to Kobe, Japan, aka Fuyuki, on the 6th, so we can actually play at least some of this event. The question is, how much will I get to play? I don't know. It'd be nice if I can play it all. If push comes to shove, and I have to do the last sort of couple missions, um, You know, off camera and then just do my, my reactions later. So be it. That said,、uh, here we are. It is a new, a new event and specifically a new servant to summon. That's right, it's Bazit, who I am very excited to grab. I need to grab Bazit because it's Bazit. It's Bazit. I'm, I'm, I am a strong soldier for the classic, you know,、um, fate characters. So I will, I will grab that. Thank you for the quartz. Thank you for that. We also have a.、Uh, the, the advanced quest was added. Also a rank up. Who gets a rank up? Oh, nice. I'll do that after. Not now. We'll do the advanced quest too after, because that was a new thing added that I was like, I should probably do that on camera.、Um, so let's start by grabbing quartz. 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 Take it. Uh. I guess. Fruit. Got a bunch of stuff here. I'm just gonna leave it here.、Uh, well, let's also do, because I w a n t to make sure I can get this. Let's do an exchange. We have 24 from that. That should be good. Hello. Can you load, please? Thank you. Oh, Tamamo. Why don't I look Tamamo randomly? I... And yet? Okay. Huh. Huh. That's a new one. I've never seen that. Alright, let's exchange this in 24. Alright. Righto. It's time, baby. We s a gonna summon our own Bazit. I know some people are holding off, saying, like, whoa, Bazit, whoa, but I'm going to.、Oh, we also have 38 tickets. Jeez, okay. Let's start with tickets, and then we'll go on. Also, I love this CE because that's a very cute Kets. This CE is hilarious because it's called Melty Love. It has nothing to do with melty blood.、Uh, so, that's just the five star. So, let's see here. I noticed you connected there. It's going to be something new. What is it going to be? New CE? No, it's just a Zelretch. That's Hollow Ataraxia related, though. Oh, by the way, how about that English Fate Stay Night release? 
the thing I never would have believed would be a thing. Yeah, I'm a little excited. I'm buying it, possibly more than once. Um, that said, I've had people ask if I'm going to play it again. No, not on video. That's 120 hours. It's a lot. It's too much. Formal craft, nice. It's too much. Um, and people are like, what if there's new content? There's not going to be. It's going to be the Vita version. The only thing I might do is if it is the full Vita version and includes the um, Hanafuda minigame, hello. What's up? If it includes the Hanafuda one, I'll do it there. What do we got? That is, that is Melty Love. And that is Galatea. It looks like... It's meant to be like... It's meant to be like the confectionery, but it just looks like she has gashes in her. As someone searching for true love, it makes sense that she would become absorbed in making chocolate treats for Valentine's Day, and so she attempts every possible combination she can think of, including several involving herself, while simulating the time when she would be reunited with her beloved king. Whatever you do, don't think about suggesting she may have gone too far. She has. It looks it looks like she has gashes out of her. I don't like that. It's funny because it sounds like melty blood, but it has nothing to do with it. Okay. That's just a year alley. All right. Sakura's special bento. What do we got? No, I see. What are we doing? What are we doing? It's not. Oh, no, it's a five star. Valentine witches. Look at them. They're together and they're happy. Even in Fairy Britain, Valentine's Day was considered a special occasion. That implies a Saint Valentine existed there, which is a whole question. They made the perfect occasion for the Lord of a Domain to break out their magecraft and demonstrate their majesty. Very well, I, the Queen, shall make the greatest chocolate I've ever seen, no matter how much it costs or how long it takes. Now tell me what sort of chocolate you like. Well, Mother, I love how much of the fairies' existence uh, tats you're willing to throw in. Well, pissant, you're going to accept our gift or what? You took... There's life force of fairies in there? That's more than a little messed up, if you ask me. Good to know, but dang. All right, let's see. Hello. 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 Shut the... Yes. Yes. Didn't even need any quartz, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I, get a, if I got, like, a second one of her, I would have cried. There's no, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, the Hasada of Serenity. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, yeah. We got her in just 10 tickets. Oh, it makes me so happy. You're never leaving your suit, by the way. I'm sorry, I've seen your other ascensions. You're not leaving your suit. Uh, the rest of them, they're not great. I will show it for a bit there, but... The suit version is just the best. She's a little shy. はじめまして。私はバゼットフラガマクレミッツ。心霊マナナンマクリールの寄り城として召喚されました。バゼットとマナナ、あるいはマナナンとも呼びやすい方で結構です。マナナン。Welcome to the squad. I'm very happy I got her quickly. You know why? Because, because there's a very, very special servant coming not long after. So, let's grab her here. Hmm. I wonder what the theme of these characters is. Hmm. Wait, does she... Actually, wait, does she not get bonus experience? Oh, wow. That's... Not great. But oh well. It's not like I'm super worried about it. It's funny, I was just in a stream recently. Shoutouts to Red Muffler Man. He's streaming a live dub of the FGO story right now in uh, Finishing Up Babylonia. Had a fun time being in his chat a couple times. Um, 
one of his co-hosts said, despite how she looks, despite being the most butch looking, like, like this, like by all accounts, she should be a woman lover. Just looking at her, but she is the straightest woman in all of FG, in all of fate. And it's kind of like, yeah, huh. Interesting to consider, even in like Prisma Ilya, because in Prisma Ilya, everyone bends both ways, even Shiro. So it's like, what, what, like, huh? Anyways, time to put you in a worse outfit. Not the worst, but it's still not great. This outfit is the one I'm going to stick to mostly. All right, let's see. It's... <sighs> I don't love it. Oh, but she's more muscular. Never mind. Oh, no. Don't say that. I have no idea who Mananan MacLear is. Oh, ancient Celtic gear, you know, with a... With a tie? Okay. Sea God's runes. Oh. Huh. Just didn't know the sea was involved. Also, they're in the location where the, the, the Hela fought Thor and Loki and, yeah, in the movie. It is just a tie. I wonder if the last one's going to change her personality around a bit. They usually do that. All right. That's that. Pop this. There we go. All right, level limit reached. We already have a pretty high stats. I have heard she's real good. I've heard she's real good. And that this one doesn't usually change them? No, this one doesn't. Don't worry. No, no, it's the next one. You didn't do enough research. Put it back on. Please. We'll give, we'll give these all a try to see what they're like, but... Don't expect me to use anything but the suits for the majority of it, because it is just the best outfit. Dang, her stats are... They're getting up there, because she's not even that... Yeah. She's pretty She's pretty even. Like, normally they focus on one, or one stat or the other, but... All right, here we go. Time for the worst outfit, in my opinion. Yeah, what is this? Oh, you just fully taken over. Okay. That's why. What? What? I guess she does have an inner femininity that's trying to pull out. That is a thing. It's weird hearing her speak in this intonation, though. Red branch successor. Apply Vade, debuff immune, and gain stars. Ooh. That's not bad. And I th if I'm correct, her final ascension art is killer also. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put you back to Bazit kind of ASAP, honestly. Alright, well. Ascension... Let's see here. If I'm correct, it's back to her. Is it going to be them fighting on the, the last one for their personality? Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, she's back! True! No! No! MC is not a self-insert because I'd never say that. I 
Yeah, so if it's a pseudo servant, they are a god, huh? Okay. We'll learn about them as we uh as we play the event, I'm sure. I, I just I, I I love you punch mom so much oh we're out of we're out of stuff uh oh we might need to do a bit of a you know what I know the exact place to get more it's a new month you know what new month means new month means Oh, and there's more grail casting, right. Uh, mana prisms, first off. Thank you for that. Get some more of those. I think I'm going to leave my stuff there, and I'm going to start by going to my second archive and pulling out some more here. Uh, servants. Yeah, because I still got a number in here. So I'll just go... 300 some. All right. God, it was so nice having a a thing that would last me so long doing one of the lotteries there, just auto battling and getting a ton. When's the next one? I think it's Tesla Fest is next. Sounds like a sounds like a car dealership thing. Come on down to Tesla Fest. Yeah. Get yourself a brand new Tesla. No money down. Don't do that. Don't do that. There's so many better things to buy. Um, I only have, you know, oh, actually, I do have, because I got them for her, but I can't. I can't use them just yet. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll first off start with just this. And then I'll go get the foos there. Well, we'll, we'll do it after this. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish you up. Get the food so that you can be food up. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I kind of wish you went back to your own personality. Um, and I have... I got these two for a reason. Oh, no! That's fine. We'll just do one and the other. Okay, we'll do this. We'll go to... No! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, and get those. Yeah, 13, 13, 13 is definitely pretty good. It's not huge, because it's still definitely not the, like, you know, ultra powerful, you know, in one or the other. But for, like, a balanced set of numbers, that ain't bad. Okay, all right, so now we'll go with these ones. Nice. Perfect. Look at her. Well, the next thing is is checking out the uh, game press here, because I'm curious about not only her her stats and stuff, but um, let's see here. Uh, has there been a update on the? Uh, has there not been an update on the tier list? Are we too early? Am I on it way too soon? Can I not check to see how good she is? Let's see here. Game press is currently hella slow. Maybe I won't be able to. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it then. Yeah, I think game press is just straight down right now. Huh. Can I just type in the word tier list and see if it comes up? Nope. Cool. That's fine. Uh, we will, though... You know, I'm going to hold off on leveling up her skills just for now. I'm going to wait to make sure I'm leveling up ones that actually matter. That's what I like using Game Press for. Or is my internet just down? No? We're good? We're Gucci? We're Gucci. All right, before we move on, let's do that advanced quest and uh, get this reward here. Combat training program with the three knights. You must form a party of your own servants. Support servants will not be available, so be mindful of the, the cost. Class affinity has a major effect on the three knights. Oh, we probably shouldn't use her there. Have a lot of HP, so make sure to take class affinity. Continuing will not be available. Okay, in that case, it might not be the best idea. 
What I will do, though, is I'm going to go with... I'm going to do Silly Haha -ha Burr for the first couple. And then after that, I will do... Probably you in the back. Yeah, yeah. So I will do... Because you could probably kill most of them on your own. Uh, and then we'll go with... Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. We want Assassin. Quanskaya. We want Obi. Obernon. We'll go with... Uh, Lancer U. And then let's go... Probably just a good archer in the back. Yeah, and then we'll go with free mash. That's it. Um, we'll go with you because we need we need to use this with you, right? These two I'm not too worried about. With you, I'm going to give you uh, the white grail, which I totally have some where I know I do streamer blind make them small filter let's just do this let's go uh, NP strength up there it is okay heaven seal that's what I want and then you only have enough for the eight there so let's go with Nope, too much. Okay, never mind. We'll go with three. We'll go with, uh... Mm, nope. Sure. All right, because then just pop that right away. Okay, I think this is our best bet, right? And we can go with, um... Because if we want to do this, we can get you this to go big strong, right? Oh, no, 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 no. We want to go... We want to go with the combat, the new combat uniform, because then that'll do NP strength up, which we can use to do a big final strike when needed. For now, we're not going to start with it, but we're going to do that after. All right. This will kill definitely, definitely the, um, the Lancer. Question is what comes after that, and especially the, the Archer there. But we have in the back Melusine, so... Let's see. I know it says high difficulty, but there's a, a total chance that it is high difficulty for people at the midpoint of the game, which is not me, right? Which I would argue is not me. So excited for my type saber, type lancer, type archer. Interesting names. That's a lot of HP, actually. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, and what's the thing? Increase their crit. Ooh, okay. I see. Uh-huh. Let's start with, do we want this to start or do I leave that for after? Let's see. Yeah, let's start with this because you know what? We should be able to. Yeah, you know what? This should be fine. We'll do this. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do because we want to do as much as we can. We'll do this. We'll do increase MP gauge and gain stars. Yeah, we'll do that. Gain you that. Good. This will do buster crit up. That's what we want. We'll crit gather up. Yep, yep, yep. Um, this will do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that one, actually. Yeah. I'll hold off on that, too. Okay. So let's start with killing Lancer here and doing as much as we can. Okay. All right, let's see. Big damage, big damage, big damage. It's not super buffed, but it's pretty strong. And we can do it twice for... Oh, never mind. You're super gonna die, bro. Wow. Oh, bro is mega dead. 30%. Speed up, okay. In fact, you know what? If it's gonna be like this... Yeah, I'm gonna buff her all the way up now. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I'm just gonna have her blow up. That's the best choice, because then we'll bring in the other guys after. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. Yeah, we're going to have her just go completely nuts wild. Is this one that we even want to give her, really? No, we'll do that after. Uh, we'll give you this, yes. We'll do this. Okay. 
We'll do, yeah. No, because we want her gone. So we'll go one, two, three. All right. Do as much as we can, because that did nothing to Lancer. Right? So we're just literally saying, get rid of her. And it did solid damage to the Saber, too. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. You're done. Charge. Ooh, that's not great, actually. Um, you're single target. I'm going to... Yeah. Sabres, I'm a bit more worried about. But for now, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go... Is single target on you. So let's go... Do this on you here. You got your meter. 50%, okay. Yep, that's fine. Because that deals ridiculous damage. Alright. I do want Melusine to get her super as soon as possible. So let's go one, two, three. Okay. Buff up. Because we have up to 30% increase. We'll get the attack up. Yep. And we'll go... Yeah, we do big damage with the type matchups for sure. Yeah, oh, I'm not picking... Oh, no, I didn't even think about this. She dead? Oh, frick, she's super dead. Oh, God. Uh-oh. This now might slowly become a problem. Um, we'll see. Okay. Uh-oh. Well. Start with this. Start with this. Okay. How much does this heal? It's not much. This will kill you, probably. Probably, at least. Let's, let's, let's see. If, if not this then the next one will, right? It might be close. That did a lot of damage. Yeah, we're good for that. Okay, so it's going to come down to the end here with, with, with versus you. Oh, game. Whoa, game. Making sure hit evade. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Thankfully, he only attacks a couple times. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my game right now. It's having a real rough moment. Do I have anything else running in the background or something? What's going on? I mean, aside from recording, obviously. Do I have, like, Chrome running? CPU's at a solid 100%. Very good. Very good. You love to see it. I don't know why it's doing this. My, oh, my, 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 um... My antivirus is currently on very high right now. That's not good. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, hmm. We can give him enough here. Yeah, let's do that. It's probably our best bet. Okay, we got that with you. I'm going to heal you just a bit because you are going to be kind of our best bet. I, I don't think it should kill you, but we'll see here. All right, let's do this. Because we do get the attack bonus. Let's see. Ooh, not much. Definitely going to become real close. Okay. I should have popped 100% with Melusine at the start. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, out of all of them, that's the one that's I'm the most fine with. That's okay. 
Don't kill OB, please. Thank you. Ooh, that did a lot. This is going to be real close. This might actually be a problem. I may have to redo this. I didn't know it would be this high, high difficulty. They weren't joking. In fact, Oberon was probably not the best pick. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Let's just do a full Oberon combo. Okay. Should have instead grabbed another one of another class who'd be real good. If Oberon doesn't die here, if for some reason he only attacks Koinskaya, we got this. Which he didn't. Okay. It's gonna be damn freaking close. We might just survive this round, but we have attack down currently. Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay. This is gonna win. This, we got this, yep. Yeah. We got this. Just barely, but we got this, for sure. I'm gonna say that, but there's a chance we don't. Oh god, there's a chance we don't. There's super a chance. He needs to touch us once. Oh no, we got it, okay. Okay, especially with that crit. That was tough. They weren't joking, that was tough. I should have followed the instructions more carefully and said, you know, gone with more and did did your super right away instead of trying to go for the uh the, the strong one there. That's tough. We did it. Nice. I didn't even know there's special missions. I didn't even know there was a lot of special missions. Okay, good thing I did it. And we get the inexhaustible mound of dust, which is uh one of the first many ones that increase a specific item's drop rate. That is so good. That is incredible for grinding. You only clear it you clear it once and you can go back and try again, but I'm not going to. Anyways, and we'll do that again later. So, I think it's time for me to reset my emulator to make sure that it runs well for this event. So let me just let me just close it there. You know, let it let it let it rock for just a sec. While it's while it's it's shutting down, I am gonna see if I can go to Game Press now and see if they have the new stuff up. Let's see here. Um has the tier list been updated? Information about it has been uh, added. Summon is now available. Let's see here. I'm, uh, I, I want to see. Um, featured servants. Boy, the website is hella slow right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I can't even get to Bazit's page. I'm going to try typing in manually. Game press. As it and while that's going on let's get the game back going okay here we go and we have a review okay perfect so let's pull that up there if we can because it's running slow still all right so at least we see which ones are the ones that are going to be the important ones to get oh her analysis is not available yet never mind okay uh Here's okay, here's the the full review. Uh, whatever else she may be, Bazit is unique. Bazit is built around a new mechanic, counterattacking. Her NP Fragrac deals no damage on its own, which makes sense when you understand how it goes. Instead, it preps Bazit to counter incoming fire, then you deal damage each time she's targeted with an attack or debuff. Initial views on how useful this is and how useful Bazit is has been all over the place calling her the worst single-target SSR in the game to functionally better than anyone else due to her impressive ceiling. There are valid arguments in both directions. 
Huh, she takes a lot of work to get going, and her benefit over other STs once you get there is questionable. On the other hand, she's arguably uh, not much more RNG dependent than other ST units. She moves the RNG around to different places, and in exchange, she can do things that are literally impossible for everyone else. Personally, I'm in the middle instead. Okay. People are saying Bazit's cool. It's a, a strong... Uh, counters are usually a strong mechanic in turn-based games. While she doesn't fully deliver on that promise, she does neat things in return. If her kit was a little stronger, Bazit would be amazing. Okay. Cool. I like it. Okay. Sounds good. I, I sort of understand that there. I did see a little bit in the, uh, the, the preview stream some of the things they talked about with, like, her Noble Phantasm works differently. I didn't see how it worked, but I was expecting it to work that way. That's how Fragrack works in the fighting games. That's how Fragrack works in the, the, the original source material. Just makes sense. Oh, yeah. Things are running real slow. Oh, painfully slow. All right. I'm going to fully reset my computer because I don't want this messy. Oh, yeah, this is a problem. I don't want this messing up my game. Let's return after I fully reset my PC. All right. Seems like it is running better now. There was a number of issues. My uh, antivirus was out of date and was trying to update in the background. My internet was on a wrong one. Don't worry. We're all good now. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna freaking sneeze. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh God. Oh, it's nothing worse than having to sneeze during a video. I could cut that out, but no. I only provide you with the most true uncensored content ever. Anyways, it's time. Mananan Souvenir, Valentine's. The Quest Chocolate Tree and the Goddess's Choice. I thought that said questionable. Prologue, Back to the Night. All right. The night. The fate. Stay night, perhaps. She's not in that. She's only in Hollow Ataraxia. And then lots of spin-off stuff after, of course. Uh, where am I? I'm assuming it's her. Well, it's someone arriving in Caldea. No. Wait, I know this place. This is the Caldea Security Organization. Oh! She knows. And I... Huh. So this is server materialization. I've heard of it before, but... So if this is really happening, then where's the master who summoned me? Actually, this might be... Mananen, mostly speaking. Oh! I thought I sent someone being summoned. And look who it turned out to be. Don't get me con don't get confused. We may uh we have never we have never met and we have no shared memories. At least not yet. Yeah, cuz Holoretaraxia kind of deletes itself from canon partially. But never mind that now. It appears we're both heroic spirits from the same world and of the same alignment. This may be fate. I see that bag on your head. Yep. Paper bag goddess. Welcome, stranger from another land. I'm... Yo! Yo, she just goes in fist... Yeah, she was... Re cross counter! Excuse me, I was speaking. What have I done to deserve a sucker punch? Huh? You dodged that. I guess you're not just another degenerate then. Yo, yo, she's schmoovin'. Body blow, body blow, and another body blow to finish the combo. Ah. Uh. I never have dr even dreamed of using my fists, but now it feels like the most natural thing in the world. I suppose it's possible you're the master who summoned me. But we can work that out after I've taken you down. Yo, she's just going in! I love the paper bag emoting. It's the best. I'm sorry. I had no idea you were a Caldean servant, too. Good. I'm glad you calmed down. Everything would have been for naught if you had managed to erase me. I'm really, really sorry. For some reason, I was just seeing red. I Is Ilya gonna have a thing where she's like, Is that Bassett? Uh, how's your gut? I think I managed a literal ton of force in each of those three strikes. 
Not to worry. I'm resistant to physical attacks, and I'm used to both external and internal injury. <laughs> what a face! What a little face! And on top of that, I also reinforced various parts of my body with god love so as not to repeat last year's mistake. Uh, did you just say god love? Oh, right. I'm sorry, you only just arrived. What I meant to say is that I'm shielding myself using unsold chocolate from last year. Oh, that's gonna get sticky. Now, getting back on track... You've got nothing to worry about. As you can see, there's not a suspicious hair on my head. I am a Moor, a divine spirit and Chaldean pseudo-servant. I'm sure you've heard of me, since I'm known around the world as the god of love. A Moor. As in, the Roman god of love. Never expected a divine spirit like you would have answered Chaldea's summons, too. But, um, why the paper bag, then? Life isn't all, all about what you can see with your eyes alone. Why? <laughs> Truly innovative fashion always struggles to find a foothold in the modern world. I'm sure the first person to use the umbrella must have seemed absurd when everyone was used to getting drenched in the rain. I can only look eagerly forward to the future where all who seek anonymity make use of paper bags like this one. But never mind that. More importantly, I took issue with your behavior earlier. For you to attack the first thing you see after being summoned as a servant is a serious matter. Well, it could result in people mistaking your class. Could it be that you never received information about Caldia from the Throne of Heroes? Are they going to make the same joke they made where she's a boxer class? Oh, no, I've got all that stuff down pat. I just seem to have some preconceptions about servants that I can't seem to get over. Oh, now I see. So your vessel's personality is causing this. The body you've chosen appears to belong to a mage who was deeply involved in a Holy Grail War. I'm not surprised that anyone familiar with that particular ritual would be very wary of servants. You know, intellectually, I understand that lots of servants have been gathered here to protect humanity, but I still can't quite bring myself to believe it. Is the situation really so desperate that it requires so much servant power? That's, I guess, a word. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah manpower, servant power, sure. Yes, it is. Every heroic spirit here was summoned for the shared purpose of protecting humanity. Even a major event like, oh, say, Valentine's Day isn't enough to distract us from our goal. I see. It looks like you all really do believe in your cause. Well, that's reason enough to give it my blessing. Whoever my master is, I'm sure they must be a wonderful, upstanding person. Speaking of master, where are they right now? Are they with their other servants? I'm going to be fighting alongside them from now on. I at least need to introduce myself. You never get a second chance at first impressions and all that. Oh my, I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm watching a proud new college graduate excited for the first day of work unaware of the toxicity of their new company's work environment. Still, yes, I'm sure you'll be shocked once you meet them. Caldia certainly is chock full of heroes and divine spirits from past and present, near and far. Forget having enough for a baseball team. There are enough servants here to form a whole league. That's really funny because I played the, the Fate Baseball game. That game was actually really fun. Shame it's just gone now. So like... Nine servants times twenty teams? Wow, that many! Oh yes, there's Ishtar from Mesopotamia, Parvati from India, and from the Celts there's Finn McCool, Fergus MacRoic, and Cahulin. Did you say Cahulin? Yes, is that a problem? Well, no. What am I thinking? I'm a divine spirit sworn to protect humanity. I just can't see him yet. It's out of the question. Oh, where are you going? I need to get away from this place for a while and sort some things out. A trip. Yes, I need to go on a trip. Please don't look for me. You're acting more strong than I expected. I didn't think it'd be anywhere near this bad. All right, then, in that case, would you be willing to let me handle this? I just thought of a great plan that's sure to put your mind at ease. Oh, boy. What shenanigans is she getting up to? Ahem. So, as you guys know, we have some kind of incident or other right around Valentine's Day. Every single year. At this point, we can basically treat it as an inevitability. So, to prepare for that, we decide to take this opportunity to summon a new servant. The idea was to eliminate any possibility of a spontaneous summoning by temporarily using up Kaldia's resources. Furthermore, by knowing where this servant will show up and being prepared for anything in advance, we thought we'd be able to contain the situation with a minimum of trouble. Foo-foo! We just finished our preparations, and the only thing left to do is the actual summoning. But then... I know. 
I still can't believe a new server was summoned here before we could make our move. Right before Valentine's Day. Foo. It's so worrying, Da Vinci. Sometimes trouble just happens no matter what. I think, well, hearing you say that does make me feel a little better. You see, uh, this is probably no surprise, but we've got something of a situation on our hands. This happened just last night, right after the new servant was summoned. We have evidence someone helped this servant ray shift. I can't imagine a newly summoned servant even thinking to try something like that, let alone actually pulling it off. So somebody here at Caldia must have helped. Well, anything to say for yourself? You make it sound so accusatory. Yes, I'm a god of love, but I'm also a woman of the cloth. So what's wrong with offering guidance to a little lost lamb? Guidance? To preserve her privacy, I'll avoid going into detail, but suffice to say she was unable and unwilling to meet a certain someone for personal reasons. I sense she was going to need a very good reason to see him. That's when I had a flash of divine inspiration. When planning chance encounters with better holiday than Valentine's Day, they didn't already have a reason to meet. All I had to do was manufacture one. No matter how much of a hopeless, negative Nancy someone might be about their social prospects, getting hold of some of the best chocolate in the world would obviously be all the reason they need to see the person they wanted. I mean, we're talking about the world's best chocolate here. Who wouldn't want to share it? You know, none of that disgusting American trash. It's so funny. Because my whole life I've always heard people say, European chocolate's the best, and North American chocolate is terrible. And I'm like, I was gripping. I'm like, no, chocolate's good. Chocolate's chocolate. Like, how can European chocolate be so much better? And I'd have European chocolate. I'm like, I mean, it's good, but it's not much better than chocolate. And I really didn't understand why people would say that North American chocolate's bad. No, no, they're wrong. American chocolate is bad. I'd go to the United States and have chocolate. I'm like, what is this waxy, gross garbage? It doesn't taste like chocolate. Yeah, North American chocolate. Not North American, but United States chocolate. Disgusting. Horrible. Not right. Canadian chocolate? It's European style. Anyways. This way, there'd be, uh, there would be as much need for excuses as there is for extra calories. Zero. Anyway, that was my suggestion. Oof, oof. That's why he chose 16th century Europe for their destination. That was right around the time that co uh, cocoa and chocolate making were first introduced there. As I recall, chocolate or... Wow. Sh it'd be chocolatel. Sh chocolatel. Interesting. As it was originally known, was extraordinarily popular among the upper crust at the time. Unfortunately, I never got to taste it for myself back then, but I can easily imagine it being a big trend. Those aristocrats are suckers for anything new, after all. But a more, or should I say ultimate devil Karen, didn't you notice? Hmm? It said that ch uh, Chocolatel, I'm just trying my best on that, first came to Europe around 1528. But looks like you reached the new servant to sometime a little before that. Oh. Whoopsies. Whoopsies, that's it? So then, even though this new servant went there looking for chocolate, she won't find any at all? Yes, that sucks for her. But I'm afraid we got another separate but related problem now. As luck would have it, we just happen to have a new minute singularity popping up at exactly the time and place the servant in question went. Of course. Of course it did. Ultimate Devil Karen. I'm sorry, but would you mind calling me by my preferred name? Cruel Angel Karen? Oh. Yeah, we can't play that song. Don't, don't, don't ask for that. That uh, I can't. Cruel Angel Karen? Yes. You have some idea of what's going on here, don't you? Yes. Um, we're gonna need more from you than that. For a servant, securing a supply of magical energy is a constant problem. You're gonna disappear if you keep using independent action like that without some kind of plan. So before I send her on her way... I gave her a holy grail I happened across and have held on to this past year, you know, for the road. Oh, you know. Just one of those holy grails that we just got flying out the walls. Sure. You what? Oh, and I said that too. Wow. Okay. Sorry, Tanner, but it looks like it's up to you to save Valentine's Day yet again. Your mission this time is to find the ray-shifted servant, repair the minute singularity, and recover the holy grail obtained through illicit means. Are you, are you mad? 
No, I'm not mad. I'm just concerned about how quickly things are going off, already going off the rails. All right, I almost forgot. One thing I need to warn you about. Obviously, you'll be race shifting to the same time period as this new servant so you can go after her. But thanks to the minute singular that just spawned there, it'll be really tricky to get you two there at exactly the same time. It's only been a night here for us, but it'd be at least a few days have gone by in the singularity by now. I don't know what effect those lost few days will have, but just be aware of that going in. Good luck, Tanner. We're all counting on you. Ugh, I'm a little nervous but about how this is all going to go, but okay. Now that's what I like to hear. You like to hear about my nervousness? Yes. As for who will be going with you, and these are the two servants we select to help you fix this. They're going to be Celtic. Oh, no. Hello, it's me, Medusa. Are you sure you want me to accompany you? I feel like there are any other number of servants who'd be better suited to help you on a field mission. Oh, no, not at all. Glad to have you aboard, Medusa. I guess she's hollow ataraxia related, kind of. Okay, thank you, Master. I won't be much good at talking to locals or gathering information, but I'm sure I can be useful in battle. I don't like this. Who's saying this? Oh! Oh no, I don't like it one bit. Why in the world did you go with Little Medusa of all servants? Yes, why would you pass over us in favor of the Little Medusa? Sisters, um, well... If I may, did you two want to come along on this mission too? Hmm? Is that what you got from that? I must have sounded more worked up than I thought. Of course, we don't want to bother with that kind of hassle. This has nothing to do with that. Whether we're going or not, Mash, we'd still like to be picked. Exactly. Then we can turn down the request elegantly, like the goddesses we are. You said it me. So again, why did you choose the little Medusa instead? Yes, it's so infuriating. Just what, are your, what were your criteria anyway? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Oh, Astrea. She's... Definitely hollow and axial related. That's enough, you two. Your joking has gone far enough. I understand your word, but your cute little sister, but you mustn't make trouble for Master like this. Oh my, look me. It's the stubborn goddess who's always working too hard. So it is me, the one with no sense of humor whatsoever. Master, Seth, No, and Urali have no interest in protecting others, they only care about being protected. They would never have been a good fit for an expedition, but not to worry. For this mission, I am Astrea, Lady Justice, and I shall accompany you. Whoa, it's the goddess of physical judgment. Just the physical negotiator I'd want on my side. <laughs> Between the rogue servant search and the minute singularity, I can't see this being a particularly romantic Valentine's Day. But nonetheless, rest assured that I am nothing like that goddess of Venus who tries to absolve everything through desire and brute force alone. I will resolve this matter quickly, elegantly, and above all, without resorting to physical violence, as befits a goddess of my standing. Oh, wow. The way she said it. Kind of feels like somehow, in a way, she's going to end up doing the exact opposite. I think you might be right. Boy, we're all whispering, huh? Yes. Is there something you all wish to say to me? No, no, not at all. We know you'll do great out there. Okay, everyone. I think that's enough breaking the ice. Let's get ready to race shift, shall we? I'll stay behind and support you all, Senpai. Please be careful out there, okay? I'm sorry I can't go with you, but I'll make sure you at least have plenty of chocolate waiting for you when you get back. Hey, Mash, I think you might be working a little too hard every year. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't work too hard. Oh, okay. Understood. Then I'll make sure to only work as hard as I have to. All right. Are we just going to Europe? A, a general nebulous concept of Europe or by the way, Mash, there's something else I'm wondering about. Right. I'm wondering about it too. Where exactly did Karen go? Oh no. Ooh. Karen snuck along. I love it. Oh, that's, that's a winner. That's a winner. Oh, that sounds to me like Blue Archive, though. Which, by the way, I have started just chilling out with in the background. Not Let's Playing It. No, no, no. Don't ask. No, it's not happening. Uh, one, the dialogue in that game embarrasses me greatly. But it is very comfy to chill with. And also, 
very um like the music is incredible oh my god the music in that game is awesome i love this card by the way the sh her in her casual clothes like this it sends me oh buster up hp recovery up get more cocoa chips there are many different varieties of chocolate but got from goddesses from south america nothing beats chocolate chocolate guessing Whenever we get back from a trip in the freezing cold, we want to warm you up with a cup of hot chocolate and a big smile. Can you hug me? Can you hug me, please? I just want you to hug me. It's such a good art. So good. Port Town Bodyguard. Hey, that's a caster? Guess who specifically Bazit is good against? That's right. Yeah, that rocks. Oh, that's so good. I, I almost want to set that as a ringtone. Like, actually, I want to set that as, like, a ringtone for uh, getting phone calls or something, which I don't ever want to get phone calls. I really hate phone calls. Okay, so far, so good. Oh, yeah, well, this is, I guess, Europe. You're both here, too, right? Yes, I'm here. The ray shift doesn't seem to have affected my spirit origin at all. How about you, Estrella? No need to worry about me. I made it here just as fine as well. Naturally, I didn't fall from the sky or inadvertently bombard a village either. Master, you should let Caldia know that we arrived here safely. Good point. I'll give him a call right now. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, no, of course. It doesn't seem like we can get through. Maybe we have a poor connection. Or maybe something about this minute singularity messes with electronic devices. Well, damn. So much for that. Good grief. Well, communication difficulties like this are nothing new at this point, but still, at least you've undergone training to handle these sorts of unforeseen situations. Unless you forget, you have no fewer than two goddesses with you. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, I guess I do have a lot going for me this time, don't I? Wow. Um, about that, Estrella. I may technically be a goddess, but I'm kind of, um, an unusual one. I'm awfully inexperienced compared to my sisters, or... Gorgon, my Avenger self. So please, just keep in mind that there are some things I can do, and some things I can't, okay? Well, so we've got Astraea for strength, and Medusa for dexterity. Ahem. How modest of you. Are all scythe wielders like that? Oh wait, that used to be a sacred spear, didn't it? You may look fragile at a glance, but deep down, you possess true inner strength. Love to see what you can get with a saber one day. Medusa, I have complete confidence in your abilities. Believe me when I say you're not nearly as weak as you think yourself. Thank you, Estrella. I'm glad to be on a team with you. I'm surprised to see you're so nice to kids. And what's so surprising about that? I'm always kind to the innocent. Master, Estrella, it's a bit sudden, but I have a small request. Oh, what is it? I want to investigate this area more thoroughly. Would you help me? Uh, yes, of course, but how exactly can we do that? I don't see any sort of high ground nearby that would let us get a better view of our surroundings. Ah, uh, now I see. Would you mind? <laughs> Very well. Just be warned that I won't take responsibility for what might happen. Wait, are you just going to chuck her? Are you just going to shot put the child? Do you have something elegant in mind? Well, the best way to survey an area is from a high vantage point, right? Indeed. All right, I'm going to put everything I have into this. Yep. Oh, they could have absolutely... I honestly thought she was going to say yeet. Yeet? You threw her? That was an excellent toss, if I do say so myself. So she should be able to see for kilometers from that altitude. That was your method to get her up high? Medusa, the unusual goddess. She truly is a fascinating girl. I know she's a servant, but deep down, I had my concerns about sending a young child out to fight. Fortunately, it seems my concerns were unfounded. Yeah, could you imagine if if Luvia didn't want to send out a child to fight? That'd be wild. Because she definitely doesn't do that in the Prismalia universe. She's like, go, child. You must fight. Most people would never even imagine doing something like this, let alone go so far as to request it. You really do have a soft spot for kids, don't you? 
By the way, Master, did you know that when humans have a near-death experience, they often feel as though they are sending to heaven? But never mind that. That discussion can wait for another time. Stand back a little, would you? Huh? Here she comes. Thank you for waiting. I finished surveying the surrounding area. Hmm? Is something wrong? Your legs aren't broken, all right? Oh, no. I'm fine. I'm used to falling from great heights. And besides, I'm a servant. Of course, I'm perfectly okay. See? Not so much as a scratch. Welcome back, Medusa. So what did you make of our surroundings? Did you notice anything interesting? Yes, I did. It looks like we're on the southern edge of a peninsula near the ocean. The nearby area seems peaceful. I didn't see anything unusual, but as for points of interest, I noticed what looked to be a port town to the west. <laughs> Excellent work. Then let's start by heading there, shall we? You really are a great rat lancer. That was helpful. I'm glad. Once we found this unidentified rogue servant, repaired this minute singularity and recovered the Holy Grail, I think taking a little beach vacation here would be a lovely idea. I can't wait to see the looks on those lazy goddesses' faces when we tell them all about the good times we had. So... So they're all still basically having the exact same relations as when they're humans as servants, huh? You know, we've been walking for a while now, and it doesn't feel like we've gotten anywhere. Everything we've seen so far has been rather unremarkable. It may be minute, but this is still a singularity, right? I thought it'd be a little more, you know, exciting. Huh? Our priority right now is gathering information, and we can't really do that in a field. I know that. I was just thinking out loud. Master Estrella, look over there. I think that's the way into town. Hold it, you three. Who's this? I can tell from the way you're dressed that you're not from around here. No, it's not just that. You two, the child and the blonde. You're servants, aren't you? And you must be their master. Stand back, master. It seems this woman is a servant, too. But then is she the servant we're looking for? A perfect shift in your center of gravity. Magical energy primed and ready. Huh. What a magnificent display. I never expect to run into other servants all the way out here. As for you, the master, I'm surprised to see you're controlling two servants at once. Either a great mage or... Well, no matter. First, I'm going to neutralize you. Once I've gotten you all restrained, I can hear what you have to say. Can we try talking this out first? <laughs> no, master, I think this will be faster. She's already come in range. As soon as she drops her guard, I can do something like... This! Damn it. No way. How did she escape Estrella's grasp? She's so fast. I see. No wonder you're so confident. Looks like you're a grappling expert. That's all right. I was planning to fight you at a distance anyway. This is, this is literally a fighting game. Oh my. That's disappointing. But if you think keeping me at arm's reach will let you best me, you're gravely mistaken. I'm Estrella. That's Lady Justice to you. It'll, it'll take more than some half-baked magecraft to throw me for a loop. Astraea, the divine spirit. So you're the Greek goddess who passes judgment upon people with the scales of justice. But even if you are a goddess, you can't possibly have materialized in your original state. Your power is constrained by your servant's spirit origin. If it comes down to a noble phantasm face-off, I'll come out on top. <gasps> what the? Such an intimidating presence... It feels though as it's overwhelming my consciousness. Yo! Yo, oh, yo, 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 she has a stanced up pose. That's so good. That's so good. Julie threw my water bottle across the room. Now, come at me with everything you've got. One strike will decide it all. Sorry, what was that noise? What was that stock sound effect? Huh? That shriek just now. Someone's in trouble. Master over there, a wagon on the road is un road town is under attack. That merchant must be just coming back to town. Mm, this is have to wait. Stay exactly where you are while I. Come on, you two, let's go. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Who 
in the world are those people? Did she definitely? I was gonna say she doesn't recognize Luvia, but come to think of it, I don't know if she ever met him aside from the Prismalia universe. It's just a single enemy. Well, it's no problem. I'll try to wait from the wagon. And I'll handle the rest. Got you. <laughs> what the? Oh, Barbell. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm being pulled apart from the inside. Barbell means that stung a bit? No, it doesn't. What? Get back. You can't grapple with that thing. It'll seal your magical energy. <laughs> Stand back, Estrella. I'll handle this one. You there, the master. You should be able to figure out what's going on here. So now that you've stuck your nose in my business, stay here and help me get rid of that thing. You got it. Let's work together to take this thing down. Barbell? Why would you... Why would you say that? It's so strange. Anyways, do we have her as a default serving? So I might just use that one. Might just be easier to just grab you. Let's see. Yeah, sure. We'll just grab you. You're already pretty much kitted out. So what are these? What are these things? What do they mean? Power up your servants by raising their buddy rank. Each servant's buddy grade will increase according to their place in your party. As their buddy grade increases, their buddy rank will increase. Each What the frick? Closer to first grants bigger one. Raise your servant's buddy rank to shine in battle. Huh. So like if I go like with my... It's probably kill cavalry. It's like I could do... Okay, sure. We'll put... So then you get up. Okay, so you get more. So, okay. Sure. Um, For now though, let's get some of these on. One... Let's see, this does... Actually, I think I think, I think think we want to go with that, right? Because this does Buster Up, right? Buster Up and HP Recovery, that's actually pretty good for you. Apply it, ignore Invincible, do the stuff up. Damage Increase, Noble Phantasm, NP Gain. We'll do that one. And we'll throw this on you, why not? Okay. And otherwise, I pretty much just can pick whom... I don't know what this thing is that it's saying. Like, they have an E something? Right? You could. Are they are they all E zero? They are, so it doesn't mean anything. But that means I should probably grab servants that I want to use for that. But at the same time, I don't. I don't want to waste bond points. So let's just go with. Uh, I think Gil's pretty close to getting it, right? Uh, this is. We'll just get rid of that. And we'll switch out instead of that. We'll go with. Uh, and bond up here because might as well do it and apparently this event will give out some new stuff too for that let's go with bond up by 10 percent huh. i guess we don't need that one then and instead we'll just put in we can do let's go by cost let's see here probably grab someone cheaper who I want to level up their points on. Let's go. You know, Betty, Betty, I, I kind of want to get points up. Okay, cool. This will work. Okay. Let's uh, see Bazit in action. Excited to see. See how crazy she is. What sort of enemy we got to? As soon as it appears, give it a second. Okay. Whoa! Didn't expect it to be that. All right, and hey, we get a full combo with her. How perfect! Nice. Um, I'm gonna start this with you, and then this is good because this is, this is extra damage to casters for three turns. Cool. Okay. Um, so let's check out your full combo here. All right, what do you do? I'm assuming a lot of punching. Okay, yeah, dash punch. Nice. Max HP down. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 
Yo, big sl Yeah, they, these are... I'm recognizing a lot of these moves from... These are all just mostly moves straight from, uh, you know, the uh, the other games there. The fighting game. Super absorb. Please don't take it from Baz. I don't want to see your noble friend. Remove attack buff. That's fine. Okay. Big Choco Monster, even though it's clearly meant to be the Nobunaga core enemy thing. Okay. All right. Let's see how much... Uh... Let's see here. Oh, she eats noodles? That's a lot of meter, actually. Okay, so let's go... Apply of a debuff immune gain. Sea star, sure. Okay, I wonder if they... If that counts for her thing, though. Let's see here. Let's do Freigrock. And let's do combo here. Okay. Is it going to put her in like a, a defenseless state where you can't actually do stuff with her? That's the question. So I know it applies target focus. And then it works off of being hit, right? Yo, has a song? That looks sick. It's very short. Fragrack counter. Okay. Oh, we're not even going to see it. Oh, she gets a unique, like, stance with it, too. That's cool. Wish we could have seen it in action, but, I mean, it, was, it obviously just worked like Fragrack there. So we'll, we'll get... Oh, buddy rank. I see. Okay. Okay. We'll deal with that. What are all these quests here? There's so many. Deal with those off camera, because there's just a lot. I'm so happy she has a stance for it. Oh, it's so good. It's not going to be in all her forms, I bet. It's going to be this one and probably maybe her last one, but probably going to stick to this one. Oh, the enemy had disappeared. No, wait, it looked like it was absorbed into the ground. What in the world was that thing? You there. Thank you for your help, but why did you help us when you clearly saw us as enemies earlier? To be honest with you, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, we'll have to talk later. Oh. Damn, was I too late? What happened to him? Did he have his magical energy sucked out like Estrella? Yeah, when I was grappling with that monster, it felt as though I was losing a great deal of magical energy all at once. What was that exactly? I know I said it was magical energy before, but it would be more accurate to say it's the drive to work, to move, motivation, you could say. That's stupid. Motivation? That's right. You've been sapped out of your motivation, just like this man has. I feel like I'm still not seeing the big picture here. Motivation. Maybe vitality. Life force, you could say. Now that you mention, I still don't feel like my usual self at all. You won't for a while. You'll just need to rest until you feel better. You seem to know a lot about that monster. I think it probably has something to do with our objective. Could you please tell us what you know? All right, I think I can tell you. You don't seem to be bad people. Hang on, you still haven't told us your name. I'm... No. I'm Bazit. Bazit Fraga Mikramitz. I'm a rogue servant working part-time for that town as a bodyguard. My class is boxer. Shut up! They did the joke. They did the joke. They did the joke. They did the joke. I mean, you just got pretenders, so... Just make them up. Oh my god! I didn't even remember. Now there's another one! <laughs> I forgot! I completely forgot. That's amazing. God, please tell me there's art of them having a boxing match. No, actually, I don't want that. I've seen art of female anime characters boxing. It always makes me feel weird. Huh. I thought this town would be gloomier, what with the monsters running around. But if anything, it seems positively brimming with energy. Yeah, even the children are cheerful here. I never thought they were under threat from monsters if I hadn't seen it for myself. I took that man to a doctor. He should be okay for now. Oh, and I've been renting a room in that tavern there. Should be a good place to talk. So they just let you walk in looking like that? They don't mind? Okay. Well, hey, hey. Welcome back, boss. I heard you took another one down. Yes, but not before I claimed another victim. This isn't good enough. Not by long shot. Don't worry about it. 
long as you keep him out of town, that's good enough for us. By the way, are those folks friends of yours? Something like that. Sorry for the short notice, but do you have a room where they can stay? Oh, sure, no problem. I'm just surprised you know so many people. Look, another friend of yours is waiting for you over there. Another? There you are, it's about time you got here. Knew it. It's been very lonely out in this strange land all by myself. Oh, sir, would you put my meal on their tap? Thanks. What are you doing here? She does have a pretty odd fashion sense, doesn't she? Your second ascension is not much better. In fact, it looks very similar, if I'm being honest. It looks intentionally designed to be similar. Coochie for the world to see. It's a very strange choice. Saint Quartz? Ha, oh, jeez. Sure hope I don't have to use all that to summon her. Tea Break Quest. Cookie Breather. Then we got some of these. Um, oh, let's try the Tea Break Quest. Sure. Is this getting a tea item? Sure. Oh, why not? Let's see. Let's go with event bonus. I wonder if people have their teams ready. Probably not. So instead, I don't want the servants. I just want the bonus essence. Please, thank you. You all have some. Wow, Gil! Gil, buddy. Gil, buddy. What the frick? Are you serious? Gil, buddy! What the frick? Gil, we gotta talk! Gil, we gotta talk. Oh, I just opened the Discord and I saw him say he was posted the what did it cost you everything meme. Oh, no. Well. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm gonna put it on my own. Uh, and we'll go with the second ascension there. I want to go class. We'll go with the second ascension to uh, at least see what that looks like in combat. And we'll go ascension two for now because that one might be ascension three or ascension one. I don't think it'll be ascension two. We'll see here. Manan and Maclair. Okay, we'll see if that changes how she fights. I don't. I, I think three might. I don't think. I think two will be about the same. Is it the same stance? No, it's different stances. Huh? Okay. We'll see. I don't mind this one. This one's okay as an alternate. I also think that it's freaking horrible she gets long hair in her other ones. But that's just me, I guess. You know, maybe it's just me, but I think that women should have short hair and pants all the time. Maybe glasses. Big boobs. I'm going crazy. Anyways. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's see here. Do we have the... Okay, no. I see. You are you are based. You are sticking with the, uh, the, the default there. Okay, so let's just see. Any changes. Let's do punch... Yeah. Okay, so it's it's about the same. And the thing is, you might look at that and go like, boy, she's sure using a lot of the same animations that we see with, uh, you know, very similar animations to what we see with uh, the, the boxer Arjuna, to which, yeah, because, I mean, what else are you going to do for a boxer servant? There's two of them. Oh, that's cool. That's sick, actually. I want to try and get Fragrack going for sure. Okay, let's go with... Is it? 50% meter. Yeah, it's just straight up. Okay, so let's go... One, two, three. Alright, let's see here, because this should, this should let us see Fragrack in action at least once. Okay. 
Yeah, target focus is on. Fragrack is its own status ailment, yeah. Alright, let's see here. That doesn't count. That's wild. It's one that could do a lot of damage if used properly. That could be ridiculous if used properly. Right? Okay. Yeah, we're not going to get to see the other one there. That could be ridiculous if used properly. Because I wonder how it exactly works fully. I don't 100% understand. So I'd, I'd love to see. God, we're getting so many things. Help. Help. Why is there so many missions? We got bodyguard points. Oh, it's a point-based one. Oh my god, we got some surprise chocolates. I forgot. I forgot that we'd get them. It's part of this. Oh my god. I forgot. I forgot about the fact there's a Valentine's. That's like super important. Let's do... Okay, let's see here. Yeah, Stargazer Teapot. I'm going to hold on to that for now. Let's see here. It's been a while since I've heard this song. Alright. I love this craft essence too. It looks so cute. Let's see here. Anything special? We got surprise chocolates, giant's rings, summon tickets. Uh, nah. Ooh, buddy ring gold. Yeah, your buddy ring. Sure, let's go with that. Demonic Lance of Reverse Causality. I'll check out when, when I get those and see what those do. Why are... It's your another one. Okay. Um, so yeah, new thing. You can now say, like, which ones have you not done? So you can check the ones that have not been done. That's good. That's great. Give chocolates, you can also do it. Yeah. What noises are you making? You. Okay. This is funny because she, she was selling stuff on the beach there too. Thank you for your hard work. I love this craft. This craft essence, there's such a level of realism to it. It's so good. I love this one. It's honestly, well, as soon as I saw that one, it's one of my big favorites. Um, okay, we got some. We got some decent stuff in here. Let's see. Skip previously viewed ones. Thank you. Let's see if we get anyone new. Will it just skip or will we actually get a new one? I love the skip previously seen. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's such a good feature. It's loading, so it must be someone new. It would have just skipped it already. Who are we getting? Ten days ago. Oh, who? Oh! Oh! I forgot about all the, the fairy knights. It's going to be great. Oh, boy. Are you talking about me right now? Reminder, she's just putting on an act right now. Oh no. Oh, these two. I could not imagine a worse pair in a room. 
It was talking about me. Yeah, please, please, please don't do that. Oh, these two being friends is terrifying. That's I get what she's saying, but this is a very weird sentence too. Ah, no, no, sucking is what she said she didn't do. We're not doing the other thing. チオスのは悪まで魔力欲しい。美味しくて効率がいいから、たまにしたくなるだけ。他にご馳走があれば問題ないわ。マスターから絞り取る魔力で十分。生きるって転じゃ、カルデアはいいところよ。マニも悪に
She literally said she's making a PowerPoint. That's hilarious. It's, it's funny because there's many things that are like, like, we have so many characters that we can really break down certain things. Like, can this servant use a computer? Like, you put Ishtar in front of a computer, she's going to say, no, I'm not touching this thing. You put Pravanshi and she's like, yeah, of course I know how to use a computer. Cover Sprite is so low quality. Do you see that? It's like, look at that, you see? It's a little weird. そんなに楽しいのかしらね。バレンタイン。たかだかチョコを送るだけなのに。ああ。でもあれか。このリストにあるやつ。何個かはあいつへのお返しってわけ。どれもこれも結構気合い入ってるけど。because they get voiced scenes. So we will have one for Morgan too, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy, that one's gonna be interesting. It's like a very subtle kitty face. Just barely there. Please. Please don't. Use that voice in that outfit. I can't handle it. Hi. The 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 motion that that high goes through. It's very good. <laughs> Morning, Vivanchi. Or what is it? Yeah, but just be nice. Morning. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Okay. I'll just sit in a chair, thanks. Yeah, after you have about 500 of the, the servants, kind of get used to some big personalities. Oh! It's a chocolate steak. Not the type of chocolate steak I'd eat. Uh... Think what the? Oh, it's uh, it, uh, sorry. Is it flying around the room right now? Is that chocolate flying, perhaps? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's so stupid. <laughs> you made a misbegotten monstrosity mark too? I don't know if that's a reference to. Why would you make something like that? Oh, who did she talk to for this? I would assume that would be the logical thing for you. I've literally seen chocolate high heels where it's like it's it's chocolate in the shape of a high heel. I've seen it. It's real.
Uh, Mental Morgan, my, uh, I don't even know. I was going to say like my, my high school metal band. It's actually, it's actually a sick, Mental Morgan is actually kind of a sick name. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. ジョーの後継者にふさわしくあれ。今のは今町の理由お母様。そう。そう。また間違えるところだった。私はバーバンシー。誰もが恐れる悪の花。気の利くサーバントとして I mean, if if there was a flying chocolate that destroyed other chocolate, that'd be scary. Yeah, that would be scary. I don't know about that. Not into that. Don't do that. Wait. This isn't a reference to what I think it is, is it? No. This isn't a reference to the Tumblr bird in the chocolate fountain gif. The one where people were arguing that it's animal cruelty and it resulted in someone saying, Listen here, come slut, which is so funny. And then it turned out it was CGI from an Adam Sandler movie. I'm going to scream, is this game real? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to talk to someone who could do that, we have the Master of Golems here, and he can... He has made many chocolate golems. Oh! You're just here. But it's the regular version, not the Lost Belt version. Maybe they're friends now. That'd be wild if the regular version is just like... Like, actually friends with that. That'd be wild. <laughs> Why would Castoria know a spell that makes chocolate fly for a day? <laughs> I don't know if I'd call this like a horror movie. Does that mean it'll be all over in the morning? I think I'll just keep that information myself. Let her, let her, let her have the joy. That is so stupid. God, they're so creative for these chocolates, though. All right, dancing red pile, huh? Chocolate uh, from Bavanchi shaped like a metal stake. In fact, it's a cursed stake that's meant for smashing other servants' chocolate. Despite all the time and thought she put into making this her first handmade chocolate, Bavanchi sells and realizes that it's just as much as Valentine's chocolate is meant to smash. For something made uh, to be mean spirited, but Vanshee's aesthetic still can't be helped but shine through its beautiful rose patterned finish. So stupid. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to need to uh, grind a bit, go through some of the stuff. I do. You know what? I do want to see, though. I at least want to see. We'll do one more mission because I do want to at least see what it looks like when I use the. Um, use Fragrack in the, the last outfit there and see what the last outfit looks like for that. Because it might it might actually be quite different. So, sure. We'll go with that. Um, and we'll go with... 
sure, we'll just go with this for now. Uh, because, I mean, Gilly, you went all in. In that case, if it's going to give bonus points for certain servants, um, honestly, I should give it to... I was going to... Uh, I mean, we can go... kind of want to go bond up to see, like, some of the servants there and, you know, get the ones that I have high bond with. Like, but are you bond 10 yet? I don't think you are. You're not. So, yeah, we can go work with you. Okay. Well, we'll work with you because then you can give stuff to them. Okay. Okay. I didn't switch it. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I'm I'm silly coded. I'm on that 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 silly grind set. I'm just silly pilled. Yeah, let's. I'd be like, oh, you wasted your AP. I don't care, bro. I have so many apples. Bro, I have so many apples. I'm going to be using apples for days. I was playing this and my friend said, why do you have so many apples? And I'm like, because honestly, I haven't used that many and I get a lot. And so, yeah, it's fine. It's not a big deal. All right. Let's try switching you into that last character skin. Because, again, the stance is so different. And I was going to say, I can't see her moving fast, but I guess it is bare legs, kind of, right? Like, it's not like a just a flowing dress. I still don't... I still don't love it. Once I'm done seeing its animations, I'm going back to that first outfit, and I'm sticking with that. It's just so much better. It's just so much better. Okay. What do we have for that? I'm curious. It's at least going to have a definitely different animation for the frag rack, where it's going to, like, her, you know, her pose will look different. Maybe it'll be a whole different animation, you know? I sometimes do that. Oh, she said something. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, that's totally different. Oh, yeah, it's like literally like her goddessing the balls around. Huh. Um, I don't want to kill, but I need meter. So let's go one, two, three. Okay. Big damage. Okay. Can you attack her a little bit more even? Just need to get to like 57%. Oh, a horse! Was that a Kelpie actually? That might be a Kelpie. Seahorse. Cardinal Downer. Okay. Let's go with this. Alright, we, we can definitely do this. Oh yeah, that's a Kelpie. And something that's always like kind of surprised me, but I thought was interesting. Kelpies in, like, Berserk, where you're just like, it's just a horse of the ocean. What's so scary about that? And then you watch it and you or read it. Please read it. Please read it. And you're like, oh, Kelpies are terrifying. Why is a Kelpie so scary? Like, it's like a force of nature just walking around. Oh, it has a new name. Fregrak on Hanbar. Oh, the ball is the... Huh. Huh. Cool. And so she just kind of launches it then. Bazinan? Oh, is is Mananan a bit a bit cringe? Oh, that might be really good. Oh, that might be really good if she's just a little just a little bit cringe. Oh, she might be really good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe, maybe we'll do one more Valentine. Maybe we'll do one more because they're fun. They're silly. They're silly and fun and I enjoy them. So I didn't know I'd get so many. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, give chocolates or get chocolates. Uh, let's go with... We got six. Let's do three each. Okay. You get anything new here? Oh, oh, oh who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? 
Oh, right, you're new. Yours is going to be super short because you're old. So, uh, are you going to say something or? <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> Yay, chocolate! Alright, what what crazy chocolate she got for us? Oh, that's amazing. It looks really nice. しなさい。私は嫌がらせに震えなさいと言ったのだけど。いい。これを見なさい。私の顔よ、顔。That it is. Oh, it's so good chocolate. I can't eat it. That's why it's scary. God, she's so stupid. It looks great. Don't mind if I do. Time to eat your face. Don't put food in front of me. It'll be gone. おいしいって言ったの。覚えておきなさい。この狩りは必ず返すわ。あと、龍の魔女のチョコを食べたなんて呪われても仕方ないですからね。ペンタ。バイ。Do <笑><笑> we have another? Dad, did I like really luck out and get two new ones? Are you serious? Let's see. No, there's no way. Oh my god. Oh, right! Hi! It must be your summer version, because I don't have your regular one. Also, don't have that costume, because, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that costume in-game. I know it exists, but... Summer Adventure, yep. This is the summer version. I'm gonna put on auto. Why not? Want some help? Master Kun? That's cute. Also nice to kind of learn how what they refer to you as if they say your name. Hey Da Vinci, what should I do with this? Do I, do, I, do I need to click? Oh, no, we're good. God, I haven't done keep pile and discard pile and donate pile in so long. You mean the one that's up there? Oh, God, everything's going to be in the keep pile. Oh, God, everything's going to be in the keep pile. As someone who has hoarders in their family... It's the reason I was uh, I was raised in a way where basically it was you have to learn to let go. You have to learn to get rid of stuff. This! This is why your room's such a mess! Yeah. <laughs> Is she going to give us old chocolate? Is she going to give us, like, chocolate that was left around in the room? I hope not. Hey, Da Vinci. This is the last of it. Uh, sure. Is it gonna be your dinosaur? Oh. 
Yeah, okay. Just being able to pop into being able to pop into swimsuit spirit origins could actually be super useful for some servants. That is the time when people wear swimsuits. I completely forgot we got her as a welfare servant, honestly. In fact, all the welfares have Valentine's scenes, and it's going to be like, dang, didn't remember you. It better be a chocolate dinosaur. Wow, a Valentine! Please, this better not be leftovers. Be so nasty. Hoping oh, we can go again sometime. Please don't say that death flag line. Oh my god. See, that's better. Oh. oh my goodness. You implying we get married to Vinky? Are we gonna get voiced Gordolf lines? Sounds like a plan. Probably not. Even though his actor is just shared among the general cast anyways. Hmm. You said it. Source. That's great. I love it. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. Oh my god. Uh, Valentine's chocolate cake from the young Da Vinci ruler. It highlights all the captures all the highlights that she spent with a dinosaur. According to her, blue frosting tastes like a blue Hawaii. Non alcoholic, of course. Shame to let it go to waste. Let's eat it all together. And so, slice of cake were shared with director Gordolf Mash. Never went on the trip as they reminisce, but there's some memories. This jewel belongs to me and me alone. I'll never forget that time we sh I shared with everyone else on that mission. It was a truly grand once-in-a-lifetime summer adventure. There are some interesting choice words there. Do you think having my own face drawn in chalk is the absolute worst insult you could ever see? It seems always... Uh, it's kind of silly when she puts it that way. And on top of that, she says the more delicious it is, the more master will be distressed by not being able to eat it. And so she gave everything she got to make absolutely most delicious chocolate there was. By the way, Shakespeare was the one who suggests all this to her. He's currently in hiding. T minute, T minus five minutes until she catches him and burns him at the stake. He kind of deserves it. I just saw it says giant, self-destructing giant destruction chocolate. That's a stupid name. All right, we'll do some some males, I guess. Which male is here to see us? Okay, I don't know who this is going to be. Who's this? Who's this? I literally don't know who you are. Who's this? Simulator Oh, okay. Master. There you are. Master. Koe, you're probably gonna have to kill him anyways. That's how they work. 
君にも手伝ってもらうとしようマスターいいねいや、yeah. I, I seriously thought I was gonna fade into a battle for a second I'm like whoa in a friggin valentine scene wild 無事に戻ったねいやうんシミュレーションプログラムというのはレイシフトほどの危険はないと聞いているそれでもねマスターの体は気遣わないと、uh, So hey now that we're back bro I, I made you some chocolates 僕にかい僕 I never would have took Arthur for a Boku boy, you know? Huh. It's super not, actually. It's, it's really not. Ooh. During that Holy Grail War. Huh. We'll get some more of your story later, Bucko. ありがとう。マスター。とても嬉しい。今すぐとはいかないが。そうだね。明日の朝には。とっておきのお返しをしよう。どうかそれまで。楽しみに待っていてほしい。お願い。It is kind of rough to spring something on someone and be like, "Oh, frick, I'm expected to give." Give some right away, but yeah, it's fine. You can you can take your time, especially someone who doesn't know much about the Valentine's Day procedures. Grata, mm. macaroni grata, steamy hot gratin straight from the oven. Macaroni uh, cheese and macaroni are store bought. Hi, quick problem. There's no stores, but the cre oh well, I guess if it's store bought, it could have been in storage. But the cream sauce is homemade. This may be new to you, but he's actually really good at cooking. What? Did macaroni gratin exist in 5th century Britain, you ask? Or does the Holy Grail also give servants knowledge of recipes? It's neither, actually. He might actually tell you by the time you finish eating. He might tell you about memories and knowledge that have been irregularly passed down, such as the Holy Grail war from a different world. A world that doesn't exist, technically. So eat up for now before this oven-fresh gratin gets cold. Yeah. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll learn about gratin. Uh, his experience with that in, uh... When we get back to reading his novels, is uh, but but for now, it's there's just I gotta get through CCC first because that's that's very important. All right, well, I gotta clear some of these away. Oh man, oh geez, what else is here? Teapots and oh, there's good items. Yeah, I gotta work on making sure I get these done. Heck yeah. Okay. Good. 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 All right, uh, sounds good. I will see you all. Well, for me, it'll be tomorrow. For you, it'll be when the next video goes up uh, to do this. How many, actually, let me check how many nodes it is. Because then if I can check how many nodes it is, I can figure out, will I be able to actually beat it in time? If it is, because today's February 1st, and I leave on February the 6th. If there's five... I should be good. Let's see. And if not, if there's more, like I said, what I'll do is I'll just finish it off off camera. Don't I'll skip the story and not worry too much about it. Let's see. Load. Game press, why are you so slow today? Game press is kind of unbearable right now. Come on. Come on, Game press. You could do it. Oh man, this is rough. Rough, rough, rough. But in the meantime, um, oh, here we go. One, oh, there's no way. Okay, yeah, there's seven main sections. Yes, unfortunately not happening. So I will, I will do the first ones. Maybe I'll see about recording on my phone. That might be tough because I don't want to bring my computer with me. We'll see. Maybe let you guys, uh, maybe talk, uh, talk in the comments. What do you think? Can I just skip it? Record the footage after? What, what, what's the idea? Let me know. 
right? Because I'll be gone for two weeks, so there's no way I'll be able to do it um, to, to do it after. But uh, otherwise, yeah. Thank you all for watching, guys. I will see you next time for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order, where we move on with some more Valentines. Ciao. Yo.